You're watching the Daily Market Comment by Rafi Boyajan. I'm Maria Basurdis. Thanks for joining us at XM.com. Boris Johnson's hopes of the UK leaving the EU on October 31st were dashed yesterday after the British Parliament rejected the Prime Minister's proposed tight timetable of rushing through the Brexit deal legislation that would have enabled an orderly EU exit on Halloween. However, it wasn't a total defeat for Johnson, as MPs backed his deal in principle by agreeing to a second reading of the bill. The Prime Minister won the vote with a comfortable majority of 30, and although this does not necessarily mean the same number of MPs would back the bill in a final reading, it does suggest Johnson's deal has broader support than Theresa May's three iterations had. The sizable majority may be one reason why Johnson decided to pause the bill rather than pull it, as he had threatened prior to Tuesday's votes. The government has said it will wait for the European Union's response to the UK's request for an extension, and EU Council President Donald Tusk has already proposed a three-month extension to EU leaders. If granted, Johnson is likely to push for a general election in the hope of winning a majority and ending the deadlock in Parliament. There are already some signals from Downing Street that this would be the Prime Minister's preferred route. However, it's possible the EU may allow only a short technical extension so as to give Parliament enough time to pass all the Brexit-related legislation. The pound fell sharply on Tuesday and is likely to consolidate in the coming days until the next step in the Brexit saga becomes clearer. However, with a no-deal Brexit averted for now, the pound's losses are expected to be limited. Apart from the latest complication to the Brexit process, some doubts about the US-China trade talks also dampened risk sentiment. Stocks in Asia and Europe were struggling today, weighed by earnings worries after US chipmaker Texas Instruments reported worse-than-expected third-quarter results on Tuesday, sparking a sell-off in other tech shares. With little on the economic agenda on Wednesday, markets will be holding their breaths for more Brexit headlines. This was today's Daily Market Comment. Thanks for watching at XM.com.